Hey, hey! It's the magnificent one, creator of the independent comic book Kinetic. Come check me out on Indiegogo. Today, I want to talk about the spectrum that lies between fantasy and escapism, and on the other end, when creators try to relate to their audience and their present reality, and what you can refer to as commonality, or trying to find things in common. So, what does this mean? Well, when when we talk about the fantasy escapism side of things, we're looking at like science fiction. We're looking at Star Wars. We're looking at a place that you go to and completely forget everything that is in your world, so that you can exist while an audience member as part of a different world. So when you're in A movie theater looking at Star Wars, you get to run around with Luke and Han and fight the great evil empire. Now, on the other side, the commonality side of things, I would call that more of the、uh, reality TV side of things. So that's when you look at things and you can actually see places where you might have been. You interact with people in a way that when you see them on television, you think to yourself, "Hey, I've got a friend just like that." The personalities are very much the same as people you run into in real life, and the situation is very similar to you. In fact, you might hear a lot of people say, "Hey, this reminds me of that time, you know, that that happened to me." So that's kind of the spectrum. So the reason I want to talk about that is because when it comes to comic books, when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to science fiction, you've got to make sure that you have the correct. Spectrum. You've got to be in the right place in that spectrum. So you can't necessarily be all on one end or all on the other end.、Um, there's a mix in between there. And what you'll find is, generally speaking, the more male audience that you're trying to target, the more that you'll find that they want to be escaping and looking at things like science fiction. You know, those are the individuals who seek to watch things like Terminator, Star Wars. Um, you know, anything where they're completely immersed in a separate world, and then on the other end, you'll find that it tends to be much more feminine when you try to do things like relate to things. So the idea behind this is, if I think back to my marketing classes in college, is that women audiences tend to want to see. That the character on the TV or in the movie is them, whereas male characters do the opposite. They want to be the characters on the theater screen. So essentially, little boys want to be Luke Skywalker. Little girls want to see the Princess Leia is actually just like them. Now. You run into this strange dichotomy, where studios and producers try to bring in female audiences to what is generally or traditionally been male-centric entertainment. A good example of that would be Star Wars or the Terminator series.、Um, uh, you know, just a lot of reboots too. You can even go back to Ghostbusters 2016. Now, there's nothing that's necessarily wrong with this. But sometimes what it does is it alienates the audience that was already there, because a lot of times it means that you try to make characters relatable, give them certain ways of interacting with other characters that is not the way that you'd want to act or be if you were fantasizing about being that particular type of character. So. You end up with what people think are simply boring, uninteresting lead characters, and that is something that we need to consider, because very few, very few producers can actually create a product that can be highly relatable and、uh, work on commonalities while also being highly on the fantasy. Escapism side. In fact, the only one that I can think of that really does this well is sports entertainment. Because if you think about it, the NFL, a huge franchise, has 
an abundance of, uh, you know, football players whom little boys want to grow up to be and want to essentially be the heroes on the field, those sports heroes. But at the same time, there's also a lot of, um, you know, stories, a lot of interactions, a lot of one-on-one -on -one uh, interviews with players where they try to relate those individuals and tell their backstories so that other people can actually relate to them. In fact, I've found myself in conversations where we'll be talking about a football game and something has happened, and at a certain point, it seems inevitable that suddenly somebody will bring up one of those stories. So they'll say something like, hey, yeah, you know, that... Joe Donaldson, that's not a real football player, but that Joe Donaldson, you know, his mom died of cancer. I remember seeing that story. It's terrible. And these are things where it also draws in another uh, more female-centric audience to what is traditionally a masculine entertainment. So that means that they've done it right because they have actually grown their audience because they have a product that is untouched a very masculine type of entertainment because it's basically the peak performance of athletes doing incredible things on a big screen that people seek to emulate and would love to be like yet it also brings in other people so the whole point of this is essentially that if you cannot do it quite that well which most of us cannot you need to kind of pick one or the other. So you either want to relate to your audience and bring in things that remind them of their actual world and focus on that, or you want to do the opposite and go into complete escapism. So this is just a theory, obviously, but I find that anything that's memorable when it comes to, for example, science fiction, in this case, you will find they tend to go all the way over into the escapism. They actually create worlds that are fully immersive and are self-sufficient in the fact that the characters interact in a certain way with each other and interact in an environment that a lot of times is completely alien to what we see in our day-to-day -day lives. So just those are just my thoughts on this. Hey, let me know what you think about it. Hey, if you like this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, and I've got an awesome new comic book coming out on Indiegogo called Kinetic, which is about a girl who can harness the power of a thousand dimensions to fight for good.